So I'm going to show you an example of how to set up an SSH tunnel. I am here, this example will be on a Mac, but if you look at the instructions, it's fairly similar if you're using plink.exe on Windows. Um, and it's very similar if you are on happen to be on Linux. So right now I have a browser window here, and I have here an address, localhost, colon 7683, that's going to be the port I'm going to use. Um, if I was doing 80, um, port 80, I could either do 80 here, oops, I could do 80, or I could just do it without anything, just localhost, and try it. But it's not going to work, because I don't have an SSH tunnel set up. So what you do is you open up a terminal like this, and so here I have my SSH tunnel. So I'm making my SSH tunnel using port 7683. I have to put in um, my password to the server. And now as you can see, there's just a cursor here and that tells me that the tunnel has been set up. There's no error messages. So now that the tunnel's set up, I can come back over here and I can change this back to localhost colon 7683 has my username allreadjo index.html hit return and there we go so I'm in um, so that's basically all you need to do is in your terminal window on Linux or on Mac you're gonna do sudo sh and set up a your um, your SSH tunnel here, enter your password, you should just see some blinky thing. On Windows, you'll basically, you can basically do the same thing, only it will be plink.exe that you're running it through. And then you just come to your browser, put in whatever port you have here, and if you're, again, if you're on port 80, you can just leave this colon in these numbers out and put in your own user ID and it should work. If you have any questions, just post them and um, that's it. Thank you.